In this lesson, I'm going to show you something very simple and extremely useful. I have chosen this image to retouch in Photoshop from the selection of the images I had, but I'm not fully satisfied with the frame here. Looking at the right hand side on this product, it barely fits to the frame that I have. As you can see, the shadow uh, is barely inside. It's actually uh, getting close to the edge. So what I want to do here, I want to make this image a little bit uh, more comfortable to look at, a little bit more comfortable to work with. So I will try to extend the side of this image. And luckily in Photoshop, we can use the crop tool. What's important uh, here is this box on the top content aware. So when we want to work with this sort of image, we need to make sure that the edges are quite similar. So there is something we can actually work with. If we will have too many details here, um, that would be difficult, but the edges are rather simple. So there is the hope Then I'm choosing the box content aware and what it makes, it's going to read what's inside close to the edges and based on the information that it has extended naturally. So this is important to have content aware checked. Also, if I want to keep the same ratio, I'm choosing the same ratio that I had. If I want to extend just one side, I can change it to the ratio. So I'm going to keep the same ratio I had, grab it and extend a little bit. It's quite a big extension and depending on how much we are going to do, it can read it better or not. So sometimes the extension will look more natural, sometimes less natural. And as you can see, uh, we affected this shadow over here. It's not perfect. Uh, we can give it two and uh, maybe three uh, tries um, if, uh, if we want. So I'm going to extend a little bit less and see uh, maybe if it's better, if it's going to look the same, I'm just going to work with what I have here. So let's have a look how this time it looks. And likely it got a little bit more natural. It's not perfect, as you can see. Uh, but what I'm going to do now to fix it, I'm just going to create a new layer, rename this to the clean. And whatever didn't get perfect as I wanted, I'm just going to use the clone stamp on the new empty layer and I will try to narrow this as natural as I can. So it looks a little bit better. Of course, I have some folds in the backdrop over here. So also quickly can take care of these things and that's it. So this is one thing worth to remember uh, when we need to extend the background, when we uh, retouch the products, often we have simple background and this simple uh, thing can make the things easier for us.